So when a couple tries to manage conflict, a securely attached couple will use um, an us versus the problem mentality, not a you versus me mentality. You did something to me, you hurt me. They go, wow, we, we as a couple have a problem. How are we gonna sort the problem out? And they do that with disagreements. It's much more helpful and allows them to actually deal with the issue at hand. Um, they're less likely to use the four horsemen that we talked about and they're less likely to have destructive um, conflict. They generally move through conflict quite easily. They can see their partner's position. They try and find solutions that work for both of them. There's a lot of negotiation um, when it comes to healthy, secure relationships. In anxiously attached relationships, conflict can feel like a threat to the relationship. And so there's a lot of fear at times about, I don't want to have any conflict. I don't want us to get into conflict. But also, if we were really unlucky and we had the, um, the mirroring and um, experience in child of a lot of conflict, we may actually create a lot of conflict in relationship. Um, and so when we think that maybe our needs aren't going to be met, uh, we may go into one of two stances, one of uh, creating conflict or one of avoiding conflict, depending on what we saw as kids. This can mean that emotions really do get the best of people. It can become quite controlling, you know, trying to control the situation so that we feel like it's safer. Or they can get really a, a lot of aggression. The four horsemen come out. There can be a lot of escalation up. There can be a lot of... Um, abandonment and stonewalling and um, rejection in conversation, you know, I'm leaving, I can't stand this. So it can be very, very, very painful um, if you are anxiously attached and there's conflict. Of course, our avoidant friends really do not like conflict at all. They try to downplay issues, they try to ignore issues if possible, they don't want to talk about it. They will withdraw if they can, either emotionally, physically or both. So avoidant people really do not enjoy the intensity of conflict often um, and they will do anything sometimes to completely avoid it. 